Hello there, Ali here from Sports Templates and today I'm bringing you guys a lacrosse helmet template. This pack comes with five different uh, templates. We have the side view of the helmet, we have a three quarters view facing right and three quarters view facing left. We also got a front view and a back view. In this tutorial we're going to be doing a custom lacrosse helmet and I had an idea about making a helmet with the California flag. At the end of this tutorial, we're gonna take this template and make it into something like this. To get started, I've already created a library which I'm gonna share a link with you guys so you can use the exact same colors and graphics I'm using in this template. It's gonna be shared on the uh, Adobe website and you can find the link down in the description below. So once you got your template and you got your uh, the library set up, you can start following along and, and you're going to end up with the exact same result I'm going to have at the end of this tutorial. So to get started, let's go to editable parts and go to helmet design, double click and let's drag the bear and put it in here. I've included this uh, marker. It would give you an idea about where your designs would fall. So if we save this file, and we go back to check it out, you can see that this kind of marks the middle of the helmet. So it's gonna help us out in placing our templates. Let's make the bear a little bit small, maybe something like this. All right, let's hide it and hide the grid and see how we did. Looks like we need to push it up a little bit. I think it's going to way too much down. So let's try to do something like this. All right, let's hide this and check again. All right, looks better. So what we need to do is to pick this white color for the background. And I wanna keep the top part of the helmet without any graphics. So we just turn on this helmet top layer and we make it white as well. So we can cut the bear and just limit it to, to the middle part of the helmet. Uh, one more thing I need to do is I need to cut the graphic along this line and if we just use this as a guide we can just go and make a selection that ends where that guide begins and we go to the bear make it into a mask then control I to invert our selection and then remove the guide and let's see how we did. All right, looks perfect. Next up, we need to start adding the graphics to, to the belts or the strips here. So we can just go to the strip design, double click, and we can copy this Cascade logo. Let's put it here. And let's remove the grid, save it. And you can see it follows along the shape of the strip. So we just need to make it red. So we just copy it from here. Same thing goes for the second strip, change the color, and then let's add this Cascade logo. Save it. And again, it follows the design of the stripe. Next up, we're gonna change the color of this chin bar. So let's hide this and make it white. But then I wanna add some sort of a red design here so I can either add it in in the smart object here or we can just add it on top of it but because I'm just gonna do something fast let's just do it here we can just uh, draw a line like that then make it red then do a clipping mask all right then we need to change this clip color into black like that. And now we need to change the background color to this white. What's left is the padding on the back. Just make it red as well as the interior. One more thing I want to add is the star from the flag, it's going to fall somewhere around here and I'm going to add California text on the back of the helmet. So we'll just go back to this layer, grab the star 
and let's see where we need to place it let's try here all right we need to bring it a little bit up that's perfect all right and then we need to add the California text here so just copy it and place somewhere around here let's see all right we need to push it up a little bit then to the front so let's do that and save that's perfect one more thing is I want to add the California text in the background so just grab it something like that let's take a guide and put it in the middle so we can have this text perfectly centered all right then let's drag it all the way down you can go to the text background and copy layer style then paste it on the text and it's gonna give it this extra shadow then one last thing is I'm gonna add this Republic text what's left is just changing the small text at the bottom you can you can do whatever text you want but I think these texts are important because they can help with the scale of the design you know have them be so small next to the helmet make the helmet look bigger sometimes adding these kind of small details really helps your design pop out and uh, this is why I leave everything editable in case you want to change the text and change the background or just take the helmet and put it in a totally different design this template is in 8k so if you zoom in there's a lot of details in it so you can see the reflections and the shadows and the design everything is super high res oh we just forgot to change the color of the padding here so just quickly go to uh, chin pad and let's pick uh, white or maybe we can do it red like that you can see these kind of details on this design hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and stay tuned for more templates to come we're gonna be releasing some more templates to be released before the end of this year so follow us on instagram where we are active the most uh, we're running some contests and we're sharing all kinds of fun designs and in the sports industry so if you want this kind of content just make sure to follow us on instagram and see you guys in the next one Thank you.